Hi friends, good day to everyone. Today in this video, we are going to see how to prepare shampoo base. Before that, let us see what is shampoo base. Shampoo base is the combination of shikakai water, soap nut water and almond paste preserved by using bioenzyme which acts as a natural preservative for the shampoo base. This semi-liquid shampoo base is the key ingredient for preparing different types of shampoos like hibiscus shampoo, amla shampoo, aloe vera shampoo, neem shampoo etc. For example, hibiscus shampoo is made by mixing shampoo paste with the paste of hibiscus leaf and flowers. Likewise, we can do different varieties of shampoo from shampoo base as per our need. Now let us see the ingredients to prepare shampoo base. Soap nut 400 gram, shikakai 400 gram, almond gum 50 grams, citric bioenzyme 30 ml for preservative purposes. We had already uploaded the preparation video of bioenzyme in our channel. Please check out the link in the description box. We can also add more than 400 grams of shikakai and soap nut as per our need. Now let us see how to prepare shampoo base. This is 200 gram cup. In this cup only, we are going to measure all the ingredients. Here we are adding two times of shikakai and soap nuts from this measuring cup. At first, we will soak shikakai and soap nuts for 10 days. After 10 days of soaking shikakai and soap nuts, then soak almond gum on 11th day before the preparation of shampoo base. If we soak almond gum for 10 days, then it will get spoiled and gives bad smell. Add more water to soak shikakai as it absorbs more water while soaking. Water level must be beyond the soap nuts and shikakai in the bowl. After soaking, cover the soap nuts and shikakai with a plate or else some insects may fall into it. After 10 days of soaking soap nuts and shikakai, now we will soak almond gum for preparing shampoo base next day. Add more water for soaking almond gum as it absorbs more water for soaking. Next day morning, almond gum soaked well, also soap nuts and shikakai. Now everything is ready to make shampoo base. First, we will take soaked shikakai and smash well with hands like tamarind squashing. After squeezing, filter shikakai water. We can use the shikakai pulp as a compost for plants. Now we have filtered the shikakai. Likewise, we will do it for soap nuts. Squash and squeeze well the soap nuts. Now let us filter the soap nut water. We will get more extract of shikakai and soap nut water when it soaked for 10 days. Now we have filtered the soap nut water. We can grind the soap nut pulp and filter it for using vessel washing. Mix well both shikakai and soap nut water. Now we will grind the almond gum. As per our consistency, we can add almond gum. If we want thick consistency of shampoo base, then we can add more almond gum or else if we want a watery shampoo base then you can add less almond gum. Before grinding almond gum, filter the excess water with the cotton cloth. I want shampoo base with a thick consistency. So here I have already filtered the excess water from the soaked almond gum. Now we have added almond gum in the mixy jar. Before grinding, add the filtered soap nut and shikakai water in the mixy jar. Preferably use bigger jar as it may spill out if we use small jar. Now we will add grinded almond paste in the soap nut and shikakai filtered water. Try to mix well for more than 10 minutes. Here you can see our shampoo base is ready now. If we keep the shampoo base for long time, then it will get spoiled. So here I have taken 30 ml of citric bioenzyme for preservative purpose. Preferably use citric bioenzyme as it is more effective for preservative purpose. In the upcoming videos, by using this shampoo base, we can prepare different varieties of shampoo instantly and easily. Now we will store the shampoo base in an airtight container. If air gets into the bottle, then shampoo base will get spoiled. This shampoo base has no expiry when we store it in an airtight container. Use inner cap to close the bottle. It won't allow air gets into the bottle. If you have any doubts about this video, then please ask in the comment section. Please subscribe to our channel for more informational videos. If you really like this video, please like, comment and share. Thank you so much for watching.